tangible let's go here I just uh, kind of on a whim decided to go down to Spearfish today it's about 15 miles drive this morning to get some supplies at Walmart that I can only find at Walmart and to get some supplies at Walgreens that I can only find at Walgreens and when I went into Walmart there was one live checkout person and a whole bunch of automated checkout spots. And uh, there was a little bit of a line at the one real person checkout uh, uh, line or position there. And I said, is there any way you can open up another one? And uh, the lady seemed rather, rather bitter and perhaps with good reason, she said, uh, I'm sorry that we're the only live one here. Um, pretty soon, all uh, they're going to not have any live people at any of the checkouts. They're all going to be automated in a few years. She said it's because they want to get rid of employees. And she didn't seem much, very happy about it. But another uh, employee was walking by, and I only had four items, and she uh, accommodated me, and she actually used the self-checkout uh, to demonstrate how it's done. And you can use cash in those checkouts. I didn't know that. So that uh, you can maintain your anonymity. It's if a mistake occurs that you might get into trouble. I mean, have to... I, I have never used automated checkouts because I didn't trust them, but now that I know you can use cash, I guess I can. But the point of this video is not Walmart's convenience or anonymity at their checkouts. The point is, isn't it too bad that the, 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 the lady was brutally frank? She said, they're trying to get rid of employees. Well, I don't exactly see how the economy is supposed to improve if the objective is to eliminate employees in favor of automated systems. What are these employees going to do? Well, I'm sure they'll think of something, like maybe start up their own mom and pop shop. And although the prices might be higher, you'll get personal service from employees who really care, because after all, it's their shop. They own it. Small private enterprise may yet thrive in the face of the mighty giants of automation. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And if I do uh, see mom and pop shops, and there are quite a few in Spearfish actually, I'm going to make it a point to go there even if the prices are higher. And I think that every uh, America ought to try and do that if the supplies, if what they are looking for is really there. Now at Walgreens, uh, there was still a live employee and it doesn't look like they're planning on automating anytime soon. But Walmart, uh, well, that's how they keep the prices down, I guess, is they minimize the overhead. And I don't know... Uh, what their philosophy is, I'm not, I can't read the minds of the management of Walmart. But it seems to me that they could perhaps do a better job of maintaining the morale of their employees and maybe going a little more of the mom and pop route. They might even get more public support that way. But what, what do I know? What do I know about business? If I knew anything about business, I'd be president of the United States, <laughs> uh, right? Or maybe if I knew nothing about business, I'd be president of the United States. Well, it's happened both ways. But here's for the mom and pop shop. Let's, let's go to the mom and pop shops when we can. Give them our business. Keep them in business and make America great again, or at least not 
at least not quite so bad. Stangible is co-signing off. Until next time, so long.